Hello students, I am S.P. Basavaraj. Like how I have done in my many other YouTube presentations, here also I am making a limited demonstration for one more experiment in view of your preparation before your practical examination. It is regarding the experiment verification of Stephen's law. You will have a quick glance of the experimental unit and how you did the connections in it in, it in your regular class. This is an experimental unit to verify the Stephen's law. Now take a look at the unit. This white module has the working circuit on its chassis. This is a case enclosed in the black body fitted with a heater and a temperature sensor. This part is called radiator. This is its input side which has two connections with banana pins. This is a digital temperature indicator. Using this plug it can be connected to the radiator. Come back to the white module. This is a knob to control the applied voltage in the range 1 to 5 volts. Turn on the knob to the minimum position and then switch on the module. To the left on the top here is a voltmeter. On the right there is an ammeter. Now let's see about the connections. There are 5 connections to be made. Number 1. Connect the power supply to the circuit. Number 2. Connect the voltmeter to the circuit matching the polarities of the two. Number 3. Connect the ammeter to the circuit matching the polarities of the two. Number 4. Connect the input side of the black body radiator to the circuit. Number 5. The temperature indicator is connected to the radiator. That's all the connections. After the connection, the setup looks like this. The experiment is carried out by varying the voltage and noting down the corresponding current and the temperature readings. After noting down a couple of readings, get your observations approved by the examiner. Now, as a preparation for the examination, practice drawing the circuit diagram and tabular columns. Remember, you must listen to the instructions given by the examiner carefully at the start of the examination. That's all students. I hope this video is helpful to you in your preparation for the practical examination. Thanks for watching.